Well, what do we have here? Well, it's a three ton package heat pump for my latest uh, rental property or investment property that I had moved into my trailer park earlier on in the Alright, this right here is a brand new Goodman three ton package unit. This one here has the new 2023 uh, energy efficiency ratings. I'll show the uh, stickers in a minute. This was installed oh it's Saturday now the 19th. This was installed on Thursday the uh, 15th I believe. Let me see the compressor down there. It is a uh, uh, is it a Copeland compressor? Yes it is. See it right there. So Copeland scroll. It's a reversing valve back here in the corner. This is just like my old unit except this is a three ton. Don't have a trap yet. I gotta build one or the installers might. But yeah, um, I coordinated this install with a uh, HVAC company that I'm good friends with. I designed it and everything. The layout of the unit and all of that and where it was going and got the unit and I was on a serious uh, time constraint to get this place done so instead of me doing it as normal I just coordinated it and uh, yeah. Alright so this is a GPHH 33641AA and according to the serial number it was manufactured uh, September of 2022 so that makes it 2023 Dakin Comfort Technologies Manufacturing LP and it does have the uh, 10kW heat strips in it Here's the new efficiency ratings. You see SEER 2 and uh, HSPF 2. I believe this equates to oh, a 14 and a half SEER unit. Look how nice and shiny it is. You can kind of see my reflection in it. But uh, everything is sealed. There's leaves on it right now. You can see the ductwork connections go in there. That's the supply and then the returns. Over there you see the low voltage, and uh, they did the high voltage going in there. I gotta set the defrost and all of that, but can't turn it on because there's absolutely no power. Let's see if we can see inside the uh, disconnect here. I can't. There it went. It's cold out. It's like 40 something degrees. So they do have it set to off. So when the power does eventually come on, it won't mess it up like I said I don't know when I'll be able to get the first start up there is a lot of uh, construction going on at this place safety reasons but anyways this is a brand new Goodman package unit we get a wide view of it right here brand new it's got that uh, new unit smell looks like I got a corner chipped off the pad but it's one of these uh, composite pads, as you can see. I do have to get a trap, or I might see if I can just get my uh, heat and air guy to put one on there for me. It does have an aluminum coil, as you can see. And, uh, yeah. This unit does not have a TXV. Um, on a rental property, I wanted something that is simple and not going to give... Uh, problems down the long run and then, you know TXVs they can give problems they can stick they can not work they can flood the unit with refrigerant and it looks like they're still using the broad ocean motors come on Goodman matter of fact I think that's got the same motor as my old unit it's showing uh what's the rpm on it this is wired up for 230 volts so it's showing quarter horsepower. No, it's not made in China no more. That's interesting. Maybe they've gotten better in quality. 
Oh, I can't see the RPM rating. It's quite cold out here. Oh, yeah, I didn't even see it. They got the new, uh, yeah. Broad Ocean Motor Company Limited. 830 RPM. Now, my old unit was a 1122 RPM. Don't know what blower it has. I imagine a Gentech blower because this is an ECM uh, multi-speed blower. It's not a true variable like my unit or the uh, split system that I have at the other place. I think this is a multi-step ECM motor or fixed speed. I don't know. I haven't opened the control panel. I don't have my tools with me right now. And it's quite cold now. It's like 45 degrees. But anyways, figured I'd do this quick little video. Um, yeah. Sorry I couldn't get no install footage. But we've seen it all before. It's just a package unit and duct work. Got good spacing in between here. And there's going to be brick all the way up against there, so none of that will be visible here for long. But nice shiny unit. All the connections are sealed. Uh, it does not have microchannel coils, I don't think. I think it has Goodman's Smart Tubing, which is like the 5 or 6 millimeter diameter tubing. And this might be an all aluminum condenser coil. I do not know 100%. It may be coated. It may not be. I'll have to look in the... Uh, a book for it or ask the supply house but I don't know it might be copper tube aluminum fin but uh, we can see straight through it it's so clean but yeah anyways and it's in the shade so I gotta set the defrost timer to about 60 minutes and all of that but yeah and it does have smart shift defrost anyways I'll see you all in the next one bye for now